In this video, I'm going to uh, walk you through the steps of creating a fave icon for your Power Pages site. Now, what is a fave icon? A fave icon is an icon which gets displayed whenever your web page gets loaded in a browser. Now, watch out for this area in your browser. Now, this is like a tab for your Microsoft Edge for on which the web page gets loaded. Now the icon which you see over here is called as a fave icon, okay? So so this is basically a representation of your site. It says that, hey, this is your site. This is an icon which belongs to your site. Uh, and uh, the significance in the browser is whenever you mark this page as favorite, this gets stored over here, see, in the favorite bar. This uh, is how it is represented, okay? So one is in the, uh, the tab bar, uh, and then second is in the favorite. The third place where it gets represented is in the history section. So uh, if you go into history, uh, then you may see that uh, this page is being loaded, you know, uh, on 9, 8 a.m. Okay, so this is how uh, this will be uh, shown. Now, how do we uh, get this fave icon for a uh, Power Pages site? Now let's see a scenario. Now I'm in a silver site for a power, pay, power pages site. Uh, I have in another site, okay, which is like a brand new site. So it's called as a diamond site. Now watch out for the fave icon over here. See, it's a, a very a basic document based uh, icon. Okay, and I want to change it. I want to reflect to my brand uh, of my company. Uh, let me first go into the silver site and see what where you can find those uh, icon. Now I'm in the Power Pages site. Uh, I have a silver site over here, and uh, uh, if I navigate to the back end, so I go to Portal Management. I've kept this Portal Management page open, uh, and in the Portal Management, there are a lot of left menu options. I'd say let's visit Web Files. Okay, the moment you click on web files, you will see a list of files which has been uploaded for your Power Pages uh, website. Now, let me first go into website column, filter by say silver. Okay, I want to see the fave icon where um, for which this site has been uh, represented. So I can see faveicon.ico if i click on it i see this fave icon displayed over here okay for silver site now what if i want to add a fave icon for a diamond site okay let me again go into web files okay and then again go into website filter by and call it as diamond okay now if i go into this brand new site i don't see a fave icon uh, listing okay so what do you need to do click on new and in the name just type fave icon dot ico so you need to have an ico file created uh, so ico file can be created by uh, or by any uh, you know, advanced graphic design tool uh, so or maybe you can generate one from the website okay now in the website you need to type in uh, the site so if if i just click on website if i click on enter uh, then I can select the diamond site. Uh, the parent page should be maybe say home. Okay, so maybe uh, home for the site. Uh, Pashi URL will again be the name of this fiveicon.ico. Okay, and that that's it. You know, like only one more setting remains is publishing state. I want this image to be published, so this is a published uh, image, and I can uh, save this file. Okay. Uh, so I click on save and now this is the fave icon file which I have uploaded okay now will it work now no because the file is not yet uploaded we have just added the metadata okay so if you see notes over here just click on notes and uh, you uh, click on say here uh, if you see this attachment now now here you click on faveicon.ico okay i click okay say open and this file now it's been uploaded uh, let me click on add note so that this upload persists so i click on add note this image is now persisted 
I click save and close or save. Okay, now this uh, FAO icon is uploaded. You can see over here for a diamond site. Let's go into the diamond site, click on refresh, uh, see whether the image gets populated or not. Okay, sometimes the image may not get populated. So what you need to do is like, uh, maybe you need to uh, edit the site. Uh, if you see here, edit option for this diamond site, go inside this diamond site and sync the configuration changes. Okay, that's an important step uh, to make sure that the image gets populated, linked and rendered uh, in the browser correctly. So you see a sync option over here, click on sync. The configuration gets synced up, okay. Now check whether uh, the fav icon gets changed or not. So I click on refresh, uh, still it is not reflected. Okay, if that's the case, then maybe you may need to uh, do a hard refresh. So I'm in the developer console. I just did an F2 val, I just do a right click, empty cache and hard refresh and you see this icon. Okay, so now the fav icon is reflected i just do a maybe i can just do a favorites so if i do a favorites the uh, the favorites gets appeared over here with a fav icon okay and similarly i told you that it may be reflected in the history as well so in the history you see this fav icon gets reflected so that's it folks uh this is how you can uh add a fav icon for your power pages site thanks for watching